Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are the 16 books that I will hopefully be reading in September. September is here everyone. Okay, so um, I honestly personally love September because September is my birthday month. I'm turning 25 on September 4th. September 4th is my birthday and um, I am very excited 25. That is a scary number. Okay, I do not feel 25, okay? <laughs> um, so with it being my birthday month, I really wanted to pick out books that I think I'm going to love. In August, I read a lot of books I gave three stars to, and I really don't wanna do that. So um, I specifically picked out books that I think I will honestly like love and I hope I do. Let's get into these books. We're gonna first start out with the two books that I'm going to be buddy reading with friends. So first is Lizzie Blake's Best Mistake by Maisie Eddings. This is going to be a buddy read with Zay over at Witty Reads. I'll link her channel down below. She just started her booktube channel. Like I love her so much and um, we're so excited to buddy read this. We've been wanting to buddy read it for a little bit now. I believe there's ADHD representation in here and I think it's like a surprise baby romance but Zay really wants to read this too and the audiobook is available on my Libby I'm pretty sure and I've heard really good things about it especially with the like ADHD rep and I am in the surprise baby mood so I hope that Zay and I like love this next is the next book that Tiff and I are going to be buddy reading in the Severi Mate series by Elizabeth Stevens and I'm so excited because it's the one it is the one that we have been waiting for since book one in the series we've been like I can't wait for their book. I can't wait for their book. Sorry, the dog is making noises. <laughs> but like, we have been dying for this one. Uh, the only like downside is that there is no audiobook out yet for this book and the rest of the series. There's only audiobooks out for books one through three. So we're gonna have to read it as an ebook and it's uh, a little long, but it's it's fine. It's fine. Tiff and I wanna read it so badly. It's gonna happen. Got to meet both of these characters in book one in the series where um, the hero has been tasked to essentially be Severa's bodyguard and I love bodyguard romances that's tick number one and their relationship is definitely interesting because you have this other guy like vying for her as well and he is so jealous he's not like he doesn't like humans he does not like them he absolutely hates humans but there's something about this woman like he cannot get her off of his mind like I'm so excited for this book I am so excited and you also have a woman in here who uh, wears a hijab which I've never seen that in any romance so excited. I need to make a little bit of a dent in some of the books that I want to read before the end of the year. So I really want to read Roman by Sophie Lark, which is the third book in her Underworld Mafia Romance series. I don't know anything about this, except I think it's a bully romance. I think so. I think it's a bully romance. That's all I know. Ollie, can you sit still, buddy? <laughs> I want to continue on with some Emma Scott books. I would love to read her whole backlist. So the next one on my docket is um, How to Save a Life. I have never heard anybody talk about this, but it's fairly short. It's 280 pages. I think this is like a second chance romance and it might be road trip. I don't love road trip romances, um, but like my favorite authors do have exceptions for me are the authors that are most of the time exceptions for me with tropes I don't like. Um, and it also has like shades of the paranormal. So very interesting. I've never really read anything paranormal-esque from Emma Scott. I know she has some books back there on my shelf that are like paranormal books, but I haven't gone to those yet. Um, but I hope that I like this one. Um, Emma Scott's like earlier works are definitely hit or miss for me. So I'm definitely, I'm like, I'm like praying that this is a, this is a hit. <laughs> I wanted to read 40 Love by Olivia Dade, but then I realized it's book two in a series. So let's just read book one, which is Teach Me. Um, and I think that this is a teacher romance where both characters are teachers. And the heroine is very passionate about the course that she teaches at this, I think high school. Um, but I think her uh, class hours get knocked down and she has to share a classroom with another guy, um, another teacher, a new teacher. And she's not very happy about this at all. And she kind of takes it out on him. And so it's like animosity to lover situation. Um, I don't really know anything else about it. Like I'm a teacher myself, so Sometimes teacher books are like hit or miss for me. So we'll see about this one. A new release that comes out in September, like on September 6th is Here With Me by Brooke Montgomery. This is a small town, age gap, ex's dad romance, which sign me up, 
sign me up, sign me up. I read the prequel to this series. This is book one, the one I'm talking about right now. Um, but I read the prequel, so book number 0.5, I listened to that. And like, I liked it, it was fine. Um, but when you got to see these characters as side characters in the prequel, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna love their book. I'm gonna love it so much. This comes out like two days after my birthday. So it's gonna be like a little birthday treat birthday treat for me. <laughs> Another book on my end of the year TBR is The Wreckage of Us by Brittany Cherry. I really want to read more of Brittany Cherry's books. I want to try and read her entire backlist. I'm fairly close and this one's on any play. I think it's the only book on any play that Brittany has that I have not listened to yet so I need to do that and I think this is a second chance romance when they fell in love in their teens and they are adults and they fall in love again. Sounds like a typical Brittany Cherry book to me. So let me know how you feel about this one because um, I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this book specifically by Brittany. I've heard so many amazing things about Give Me Butterflies by Jillian Meadows. Like it looks so cute. I think both um, characters work in a museum and then they like fall in love. It sounds just so cute. I've heard great things from Lizelle and from Morgan and from my friend um, Tabitha on Bookstagram. So like if all three of those ladies love this book so much, like I am going to also. And it has like something to do with butterflies. Like I love butterflies. Like I feel like this book is gonna be definitely like for me and it's grumpy sunshine. Like say less, say less. I really want to continue on with the Fortuna Sworn series by KJ Sutton. So book three is Deadly Dreams. I read a book two a while ago and I don't remember what happened in it. So I really hope it doesn't like mess me up for reading this book. But I wanted to read the book that's going to come out in the next couple months um, or a month. I don't know. It comes out soon, the most recent book. And I was like, oh, wait, I haven't even finished the series yet. How can I read the arc for this if I, <laughs> if I haven't read the rest of the series? So I'm on a mission to finish the rest of the series. So this is a fantasy romance series that um, is about Fortuna, who has the gift of like having nightmares or like figuring out what someone's biggest fear is and using it against them. She's got a nightmare. They're like very rare magical creatures. And she ends up going to the Fey realm um, in order to save her brother in book one. And by doing so, she has to marry like basically the king of the dark Fey. But then this series turns into like a love triangle quartet thing. I'm not really a fan of love triangles, but I'm loving how KJ Sutton is like going about this because I honestly have no idea who she's gonna pick at the end of this, like no clue. One that looked really cute that came out recently is Getting It On With Gargoyles by um, Hazel Mack. This is a sweet small town gargoyle monster romance. Like, yes. This is about Shepard and Thea. Um, and Thea ends up going into like a monster town when she's trying to find her sister and she ends up meeting Shepard who is not a human. He's a gargoyle. It looks like this has a cinnamon roll possessive hero, which are my favorite kinds of heroes. Another monster romance that I want to read is The Orc Prince by Quay Hudson. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, this is about Arya and Igor. Also, can we talk about this cover? This cover, drooling, like it's so stunning. It is stunning. It says a chance meeting leaves Arya in the hands of the mysterious monster that haunts her lands. Will life finally give them the peace they both crave or will their past catch up with them and ruin everything? Like, come on, come on. I wanna read this so bad. I, I wanna read this so badly, <laughs> it looks so good. I want to pick a arc that's definitely past due reading, like a arc once a month for me to like get caught up on all my arcs. So an arc that was sent to me like maybe a year ago and I'm so sorry is The Vikings Stolen Princess by Sarah Rohde. This is just a Viking romance. I don't really know what it's about. I don't want to know what it's about um but I'm just picking an arc to read once a month so I can like get my list like checked off with all those arcs. I have a list on my computer with all of the arcs that I own that I have not read yet and like I feel bad that I haven't read them yet and this book was sent to me like a year ago and I even have the arc for book two in this series that comes out fairly soon so like I need to, I need to get, you need to get to it. And it has to do with like a princess. It's royalty. So I hope I love it. Um, I really li am liking the like Harlequin historicals with the Vikings and stuff. I think like the research is done like phenomenally well in those. Okay, one that I have been wanting to read for a while <laughs> is Indigo by Beverly Jenkins. I definitely wanna read this before I go to a polycon next year. And um, with it being my birthday month, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to read a book that I think that I am going to love. I honestly don't really know all that much about it. 
I know it's a historical romance that takes place in America and it's a black love romance and um, the heroine used to work in the fields with indigo so her fingers or hands are stained purple. That's all I know about it and I know that people love it and so I, I need to, I need to read it. Like I just need to. The audiobook is waiting for me to listen to on Libby right now. So I need to get to it. I, I have to. One that looked really good is Prize of the Warlord by Rebecca F. Kennedy. This one was on my list for disability representation. I believe this is a fantasy romance where one of the characters either has IBS or celiac disease or like a stomach condition. You know what I mean? Like tummy problems in a fantasy world. And like, you don't read that in fantasy books. And so I hope I do love this one. Like I'm praying that I do. It says that when Xania is kidnapped from her family's fortress by a brutal warlord, she fears physical harm of the worst kind. But the warlord is after a ransom, something to change the fate of his people. Xania is, I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. Xania, Xania, I think that's it. Xania is simply a means to an end, an annoying captive whose weakness frustrates him. When he starts teaching her to fight, it's painful for both of them until their mutual anger and frustration ignites into a new kind of fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> then an audiobook that looks pretty good on my Libby is The Truth About Love and Dukes by Laura Lee Gerke. I specifically wanted to read book two, but I was like, let's go read book one first. This one's about Henry, who is a duke who wouldn't be caught reading the widely popular Dear Lady True Love column, but when its advice causes his mother to embark on a scandalous elopement, an outraged Henry decides the author of this tripe must be stopped before he can, she can ruin any more lives. <laughs> Though Lady True Love's identity is a closely guarded secret, Henry has a reason to suspect the publisher of the notorious column, beautiful and provoking Irene Deverill who is also its author. For Irene, it's easy to advise others to surrender to passion, but when she meets the Duke of Torquil, she soon learns that passion comes at a price. When one impulsive spur of the moment kiss pulls her into a scorching affair with Henry, it could destroy her beloved newspaper, her career, and her independence. But in the Duke's arms, surrender is so sweet. That sounds good. Like, I also wanna read a book by this author. I, I own, I think, one or two. And I feel like if I love this one, like I could definitely dive into that one because I think the one that I own does not have an audiobook. So the last book that I have is my physical book of the month. I try and pick out a physical book to read every month. This month is Warrior's Woman by Johanna Lindsay. We'll see if I get to this, it's pretty long. Um, but apparently this is a futuristic romance that takes place in the future in the year 2139. And that's all I know. It's like futuristic, like sci-fi-esque. Like, isn't that so cool? But it looks like a historical. This is giving me Star Wars vibes. <laughs> it just is. So I know nothing about it. Let me know, please, if you've read this book and what you think of it. Like, um, I think the cover is iconic. And I feel like this would be very fitting to be my first Johanna Lindsay book um, because it has to do with like sci-fi elements. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the 16 books that I will hopefully be reading in September. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a purple heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.